Now let us look at uh, energy demand estimation. Uh, this is very important, you know, for any industry. Uh, I will t tell you about our own institution for that matter. So when I joined this institution in 2015, uh, after some six months or so, I, I tried to study the energy demand of our own institution. Okay. So I have seen that the contract demand of that uh, institution was 150 kVA. Okay. Then I took the study of the uh, previous electricity bills of the college, like historical energy use I studied. When I saw that historical energy use, I saw that the peak demand, actual demand was less than 60 kVA. But we are, to, we are paying every month for that uh, 150 kVA. And for each kVA, we pay around 200 rupees. So almost uh, like 30,000 rupees we are paying for. This is fixed charges. Eh? Whether you use electricity or not, you are paying 30,000 rupees because for each kVA it is around 200 rupees per kVA. So this is a waste of amount. Then what we have done, we have reduced uh, the, uh, we have requested the HESCOM, the electrical distribution company, to reduce our contract demand from 150 to 60 kVA. So almost 90 kVA we have reduced. By reducing this 90 kVA, we are able to save around 15 to 20,000 rupees per month towards fixed charges. Okay, this is one example I am just citing for energy demand estimation. Likewise, this uh, distribution company like Carvar, uh, we have got uh, Hescom, Hubli Electrical Supply Company. They supply the power to oh, all the consumers. Please understand, energy, there are three people who come into picture. First is energy generation companies like Power Corporation, Karnataka Power Corporation or Nuclear Power Corporation. They are generating power. Then second is, once it is generated, suppose now we take a, a, a case of uh, a Nuclear Power Corporation of India, Kaiga. Once it is generated, it, then it has to be transferred from Kaiga to Karwar. So then there is something called as KPTCL, Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited. So there is a company for transmitting that power. And lastly, when it comes to Karwar, we have some local person has to distribute throughout Karwar. That is the company, uh, distribution company we call as Hescom, Hubli Electrical uh, Energy Supply Company, Hescom. So this uh, utility companies or distribution companies, they will uh, see the demand, uh, present demand as well as future demand of the consumers. So this uh, energy demand estimation uh, means managing of the demand of power by the utilities by distribution companies among uh, some of some or all of its customers to meet the current or future needs. So based on the current needs and future needs, they will do the energy demand estimation. Energy demand estimation program results in energy and or demand reduction. See what happens as I gave one case, you can reduce the demand in case the requirement is not there. Or in case there is other way around, if you are expanding, you require then you can ask for additional de uh, uh, energy demand also. For example, under this process, the demand can be shifted from peak to off-peak hours, thereby reducing the need for buying expensive imported power during peak hours. See, there are peak hours and there are off-peak hours. You should also understand that the power plants are two types. One is peak power plant or base uh, peak power plant and another is base power plant. So this peak load power is always costly. For example, I gave DG set if you are running, then it is expensive power. Okay, But hydel power is very cheap. Nuclear power is cheap. They are cheaper, but if in case you require additional power, then they may start some gas turbine power plants. So they are expensive, which are operated during peak hours. So, so energy demand estimation can also enable end users to better manage their load curve and thus improve the profitability. So uh, as I was telling, the load curve varies. Uh, you, uh, night you are sleeping, right? say some. Uh, 10 to morning 6 you are sleeping so there, the demand is very less but once you get up then you start everything you start your AC you start your uh, um, ironing clothes you start water heater okay T you start your TV so then the load increases then at 10 o'clock you all go to the college or office so again the demand reduces so the, this is likely it increases and decreases over the day it can vary from day to day Sundays it may be less working days it may be more 
So, potential energy saving through energy demand estimation is treated same as new additions on the supply side in megawatts. So, if you are able to uh, save energy through the energy demand estimation, then it is as good as generating. See, please understand to when you are consuming 1 kilowatt, 1 unit of electricity in your house, we require to generate 2 kilowatts. Then only the efficiency and uh, by the time it comes to your house, it will be 1 kilowatt. So, that is as good as saving is as good as adding. 1 unit saved is equal to 2 units produced. And not only that, energy demand estimation can also reduce in the capital needs for power capacity expansion. You, you are aware that everywhere there is power cuts. Why there is power cut? Because the demand is more and supply is less. That is why there is power cut. And why the supply is less? Because we do not have that much money to set up new power plants. Okay, otherwise, everybody could have got uh, solar uh, photovoltaic plants in their own rooftops. They could have got some uh, mini wind generators. But they are expensive, so we are not able to afford. That is why the capital expenditure also matters a lot. Okay, thank you.